Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is the Village Grandpa. Good afternoon. Here is an afternoon. Oh, good morning wherever you are, my subscribers. Uh, this is a good day that the Lord has made. I want to put you a content uh, that it relates to crashing of a uh, finger millet. You remember there's, there was a time I planted finger millet and uh, we were in the process of drying it in the sun and uh, after drying it we kept it for a while because uh, i was somehow busy until now that uh, i'm now about to crush it so that uh, uh, using the finger millet crushing machine so that it can now produce the real finger millet that can be used for uh, uh, home consumption. So today uh, we have just uh, put the finger millet just to warm it up because it, uh, as it was in the house it had uh, uh, accumulated some uh, moisture. So first you have to put it in the dry uh, in the sun so that the moisture is uh, taken away and now it is left for crashing. So today, this is what I'll show you, uh, how we do it here. So the finger millet is just outside here. We have put it to dry up. Yes, we have put it to dry up. It is there. So that uh, after drying up, removing the moisture, uh, the machine will come and uh, we crush it so that we, we get now the product that uh, is needed. So this is the finger millet itself. We have put it here to dry up. You can see the way it is. It is dried up. Yeah, it is dried up. You can see it has dried up. Even the seeds are dropping down and that is why we have put it, we have put the, um, uh, the, the covers down so that uh, when the seeds drop, uh, it does not uh, uh, disappear or uh, drop in the grass. So you can see even this one here, this one dropped and we collected it. This one is now the real uh, uh, finger millet itself. So the other one that I've shown you, uh, this one here, uh, will be crushed by the machine to give a product like this one. A product like this one. Then uh, after this product, we will have to remove uh, some chaps that are inside before now we pack it for sale. So uh, today, this is what I'm doing. Then after this, I will call the crushing machine. Because there are people here who are doing this kind of job. I'll call him to come and they will crush it. And then uh, we'll see how much it will uh, give, uh, give me uh, in bags. So that uh, those are the things that you now the bugs that I'll, uh, I'll use to sell now my products. So this is what I'm doing today, plus other jobs. But uh, for this one, because uh, it is uh, it, it uh, some jobs are done naturally, like putting in the sun is not a problem. Just uh, take it out, you put it in the sun to dry up. Then after getting dried up. It's a matter of calling the crushing machine. They come and uh, we crush it and put it in the sack. Then uh, it will have uh, been left with uh, one simple process that I'll also show you the way it is done to bring now the pure purified uh, finger millet. So go with me. I will show you uh, this process. I know there are some other people that uh, maybe they don't know even uh, the finger billet, but uh, today 
you'll see the finger millet the way it looks like and uh, it is very nutritious very nutritious in the body and uh, it has a good uh, price when you sell it so uh, be with me uh, now okay. okay now yeah yeah, this is Jed Bian coming live from Kenya, be specific near Bahalfi. Yes. At Grandpa's home. And uh, guys, kindly subscribe to my channel, J space B E Y A N. And also subscribe to Grandpa's channel. Yes. <laughs> it's falling yes. down. The sack was falling down. Yeah. Kindly yes. subscribe to him. Support him, guys. He's a nice man. Very nice grandfather to us, guys. And uh, doing amazing work here. So. Mm. Today, this is my first time to uh, actually touch even the finger millet when it is still in its shells. Yes. I don't know how they call it. Let us know in the comment. Yes. And let us know what this is called because there are, there are, there are seeds inside. I think they, they are yeah. called chaffs. Chaffs. Eh? Yeah, just like that one of uh, rice. Oh, okay. Yes, because when it is, it is crushed, mm -hmm. the chaff is put uh, aside. Mm -hmm. Then you are left with uh, the the real seed, okay. w which is now the finger millet. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So guys, we are collecting it, putting it back in it in their sack. Yes. Yeah. And as we wait for the crusher to come and this is a crusher. Yes. Come and crush them. There's a machine you use it to uh, to. You, I think they put in a sack. Like yeah, 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 yeah. You just pick the whole sack. Okay. Then you uh, you, you you pour it into the crushing machine yeah. and then uh, you remove the sack mm -hmm. when it is empty oh, yes. and that is why we are doing that mm -hmm. to make the job easier yeah, yeah, yeah. than collecting it from here okay. and putting it into a machine okay. so when we do it like that yeah. we uh, get it easier uh, just uh, when the machine is ready mm -hmm. pick the sack yeah. put there it is crushed yeah. you and then uh, the the chaffs uh, I mean, the, the 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 product will be collected again into sacks. Okay. Then uh, after that, we use uh, uh, the normal wind. Mm -hmm. We wait when there is wind. Mm -hmm. Then we try to remove the chaffs because the chaffs at that time is very thin. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we remove it okay. by wind. Wind takes away the the chaff. Mm -hmm. Then you remain with the the seed itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. See, it looks like a hectic job, but. Uh, 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 being done by uh, a few people, mm -hmm. it becomes easier. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to even maize, maize is very, is very hectic. Yeah, oh. Very hectic. Than, than the finger millet. But than the finger millet. You see, this finger millet mm -hmm. already it is uh, already it is dry. Mm -hmm. So it's not like maize. Maize sometimes you you do it and then you crush it, yeah. then you you put it again uh, in the sand. Mm -hmm. To dry up, okay. yes. But this one, already it is okay yeah, because it is dry. it is dried up. Yeah. So it you, has to be dry to be able to come out of this. Chart. Yeah, to, to be able to come out very clearly okay. from these things. Then you are left with the finger millet, mm -hmm. and then the chaff is uh, uh, pushed out. away. Okay. Yes. So what do you do with the chaff? You just throw it away? Yeah, we just throw it away, or sometimes uh, we take it to the shamba. Mm -hmm. Uh, we put it uh, uh, in the chamber to become a fertilizer. Oh, fertilizer. Yes, wow. that can also work for a fertilizer. Okay. Yeah, or sometimes mm -hmm. you can pick it and use uh, for those ones that you use uh, uh, these local uh, stoves mm -hmm. for cooking. Yeah. You sometimes uh, take that and you can use it in cooking. Like firewood? Yes, like firewood. Wow. Yes. It doesn't bring out smoke? Uh, no, it, it it will not. Okay. It will not. Yeah. Sometimes some use it uh, to light the the, 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 the that stove, okay. and some sometimes uh, mix it with a. Uh, I don't know what they use to mix it, mm -hmm. and then uh, they make it like uh, like. Uh, have you, you you have seen a battery? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, battery. So that black thing, mm -hmm. it becomes like a coal. Yo, so if you take that coal and put it into uh, into fire, it will uh, burn very slowly. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't end uh, easily. Okay. Yes. So when after uh, 
uh, the seeds coming out of the chaff, don't you do winnowing or you do winnowing when uh, the, the, the finger minute is little? No, uh, winnowing is done after uh, the, it has been crushed. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it, that is when the chaff is removed entirely okay. until you cannot see anything. Oh. Yes. Okay, thank you, Grandpa, for explaining this. I didn't know the process because uh, back in Uganda, yes. we don't grow finger mirrors. Maybe a few people do, but maybe a few regions. Yeah, but a few regions you know. because we were with the Jaws here. Yeah. Jaws told me that uh, there are times they grow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, in, you know Jaws is a farm also. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. In eastern Uganda, that is Soroti. Yeah. Soroti region. That it's where they do that. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so, so western region, no. Ah. If you could find, you could find one to. Oh, oh, no one at all. Yeah. Okay. So we don't blow finger mirrors. And also, by the way, yeah. the eastern region they like this. Uh, the the ugali. Oh, ugali. Yeah, from finger The mirrors. posho, you oh, call it. Yeah, the posho. No, no, the posho is for the corn. Uh -huh. For the maize. Aha, eh? uh -huh, the maize. Yeah, but this one they call it kalo. 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 Uh -huh. So when you go in the restaurant, you say, I want kalo and meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will give you... I didn't know even yesterday they cooked, mm. they cooked that kalo. Mm -hmm. It's only that you didn't want to eat. Okay. Yes, they cooked the kalo. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and uh, it was nice. Uh, I wish... Uh, I wish I tasted. I wish was you... it kalo that we ate last night? Yeah, it was kalo. It was no, it, it was... Uh, there was ugali. White and the color. Okay. Yeah. So, what do they mix in the finger mirage flour? They, they mix with the with the uh, cassava. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. That's what cassava. Back in Uganda, too. Like it a lot. Yeah. So. So as uh, we are continuing here. I'm uh, visited by Pablo. Yes, Pablo yes. is here, so he has given us a hand in uh, moving them into the sacks. Pablo, you can say something. Hi guys, welcome to Village Grandpa Channel. We are here. You can see there's a lot of sacks here. Yeah. We were doing. Uh, we were. We were moving the finger millet because uh, it seems like it wanted to rain. We were waiting for the guy. Who, uh, who come with a machine to do the husking, I think. Huh? Yes. Sure. So kindly subscribe, support Village Grandpa. Yes. We're in a journey of 10,000 10, subscribers. Yes. 10,000 subscribers. Yes. You know, Village Grandpa is a very busy man. If you fail getting him here on the farm, we'll get him at times to his hardware or at the church. Oh, sometimes you, work. sometimes looking for a oh, content. Yeah, looking for a content. <laughs> so it's very, very busy. Yes. So maybe when you plan visiting, mm. I think it's uh, good uh, you, uh, you inform him earlier yes. so that he can plan on uh, on his program. Yes. So thank you again, guys. Keep subscribing. Yes. We love you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we can show them. Uh, yeah. Oh, is uh, Muita here also? Yeah, <laughs> you can see in the direction like this. Hello guys, ah. welcome to Grandpa's channel. So we thank you for supporting him. Yes. Continue subscribing to his channel. Yes. And also keep on supporting me on YouTube at Muita Junior. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, you're well most welcome. Thank you for the support you have uh, given us here. Yeah. Because uh, he has also given us a hand in uh, taking these uh, sacks here. You can see them packed here. Yeah, you can see them packed here. Yeah, we have removed them from uh, uh, from the sun and now put them here waiting for the crusher to come and uh, crash. So this is what we were doing. It's a good job. So we are waiting for the crusher to come. Yeah, we have packed them here. Uh, yeah, here. We packed them to here. Mm. Yes, we have packed them here. Yeah, this is what we have done. Then we are waiting for the crusher to come, we crush them. Then, uh, the how long does it take for, for the crusher to crush them? Uh, the crusher uh, does not take time. Oh. Uh, within uh, 20 25 minutes, mm -hmm. everything is finished. Oh, 
itself. Yeah, because it is a machine. Once you take mm. a, a sack like this one and put where, where the, mm. inside the, the machine, inside the machine, oh. it is crushed like. Uh, in yeah. one minute. In one, uh, one minute, everything is finished. Okay. So within 25, 30 minutes, yeah. everything is finished. We are, we are packed. Okay. Yes. Wow. Well. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, at you, which, which question did you ask? Is it expensive to crush or how, how do you know? Like yeah. 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 No, you, you see, it is done locally. He comes, looks at the sacks, yeah. and then he gives an estimate of uh, the much he can charge. Okay. Yes, so uh, he'll only look at the sacks and then he estimates. You give him the money. Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah. Than charging the person. Yeah. No, I think it is not fair. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he might come and tell you that you give him around the Thirty dollars, mm -hmm. but you'll bargain. <laughs> yeah, you bargain. Yeah. Yeah. If you find uh, that he's charging high, yeah. you bargain. Yeah. You see, for a sack of uh, maize, uh, the, the one full maize after being crushed yeah. is a hundred bob. Okay. Yeah, hundred bob. But this one they say is uh, a bit expensive. Mm. So I don't know how much he'll charge, but uh, you we're waiting for him to come. Then he'll give us the, his uh, price. Okay. So what if you get like ladies around the the, 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 the community, you <laughs> give them a job, you let them have those lo, those sticks those and, and uh -huh. these, so, fish the, 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 the seed out of the. So that is why we have uh, decided to pack them like that. So in case that man does, does not show up, okay. we can as well hire the now the local ones oh. to come and uh, you are you're given a sack. Then you beat them, you beat it with uh, some stick, you, and yeah. then we get the seeds. Mm -hmm. Then you you pay that person. Is that the traditional way? Maybe it's the yeah. That one is the maybe. traditional way. Okay. Yeah, but uh, with the crusher, that uh, yes. the machine crusher, that yeah. one is a more modern way of and doing it and the fast. And, yeah, it's yes, fast, yeah. yes. But it is fast, but it also they also leave you with a, a work to do because we have mm. to do winnowing. But but I think again. if it's the ladies in the community, it would yeah. be a little cheaper yes. because. Yeah. The ladies will will beat the, this seed out, and again they will also do the winnowing and yeah. pack the the the, the finger millet. Yeah, but here and because of uh, because of the uh, because of uh, the machine, yeah. so we decided uh, maybe we do it. Then we pack them in the sacks. Mm -hmm. Then the winnowing will be done uh, later. later. Yes. But it's a little expensive, right? Yeah, it is not yeah. expensive because it's all expensive. all of these things will be done locally. Yeah, because they are done locally, mm -hmm. then it means uh, it's not all that expensive. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So thank you very much for assisting me. Let's wait for the yeah. machine to see how it is. Okay. It does. You're welcome. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I promise you, I'll show you the way the machine uh, crushes uh, the finger millet. So we are here watch the way it is done so the machine man has uh, come and uh, we are going to see how it is crushed it is crushed uh, this is the machine down there what you are seeing down 
is now the Prima Millet itself. Then after that, uh, it will be winnowed to remove the chaff and the seeds to remain. So that is the way it is done. That is the way it is scoped to, uh, to produce now what we need. Now, this is the match we have done, and uh, we are only left with the wallowing. Wallowing. So, you can see this is how it is. So, I can put it right. Yes. If I put it right, this is the thing. Yeah, this is 
how it is to say it's only left with the wallowing then we get our product so that is how it is made you have seen the machine and you have seen what is done so that is how it is done and uh, the end result is uh, now the product of uh, finger millet so thank you keep on subscribing in my channel my name is village grandpa today i only wanted to uh, just to show you the how finger millet is uh, crushed to bring the last resort so thank you very much god bless you as you keep on watching my video and subscribing uh, watch the video into full and uh, god will bless you thank you very much god bless you